cloud. Okay, hi everybody. Today is Thursday, April 29th. This is the meeting for the code organization some project. Um, we have a light agenda. Uh, we'll start with uh, Arsh talking about Debsat. Go ahead, Arsh. Yep. Uh, so the 0.5.3 release is, has been, is the latest release. It has like everything the previous one had and the additional feature where you can create a graph which is revolving around a particular dependency. So basically it'll show all the chains which have the dependency. Mm. I was talking to Pushkar and he said that he might find it useful because he scans for vulnerable dependencies. So I've pinged him, maybe that's useful for him. Mm -hmm. But other than that, uh, what else happened? Oh yeah, we I ran the uh, Debstat against all the projects inside the Kubernetes organization. And I think, uh, I don't remember correctly, but it ran for 35-ish of them. And for 15 of them, it timed out. Mm -hmm. Timed out being it taking more than three minutes. And in case you're wondering why three minutes, it's because it takes it about 1.40 seconds for Kubernetes. So any more than that, it's not going to produce a result. And the final thing is about adding these scripts to the KK repository, which I'm like, the original plan is scrapped now. So I'm not sure what is to be done. Yeah. So I guess we can talk about that. Uh, so for the main repository, you have to negotiate. And I'm not going to negotiate for you. You have to negotiate. You have to negotiate with Kustoff. You have to negotiate with uh, uh, Ben. OK? So this is the test. <laughs> <laughs> Where do I, I mean, I'm not understanding what they're saying. And like, I was hoping to catch them in a meeting, but. Uh, yeah, I, go to SIG testing meeting. <laughs> so that would be the one thing that I can think of. Okay. 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 So go to SIG testing meeting and see if they are around and like come to a consensus. Uh, the other way to do this is to read thoroughly exactly what they're saying and then form a logical proposal, which is different from what is there in the PR. Run it by them. You can use the SIG testing mailing list um, to continue the conversation because Ben responded there. Yeah. So you can, uh, when you respond to Ben there, you can add Christoph's email. So they are on the same thread. So try to do whatever you can asynchronously before the next SIG testing meeting. And then we can take a checkpoint at that point. Worst okay. case scenario, Christoph did leave notes on um, how to disable the verify script, and um, you know, and basically you need to disable the verify script, and you have to like uh, take the JSON file out and clean up the PR that way. So then, what will be running if we take out? Nothing the will be running. We'll just. <laughs> Uh, we'll do things by hand when, uh, or uh, what we could do is we could add a new PR job, a new um, CI job, pre submit job, which is uh, executed on demand, which okay. will run the verify script. Do you see what I'm saying? Like when one of us, uh, one of the uh, dependency approvers sees this, then we will trigger a job to see what the difference is or whatever, like whatever is the new information that comes out of the verified job. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got it. Got and it. that might be, uh, that might also be, you know, we might have to do something different, which is try to figure out like, uh, what is, well, we might have to figure out how the to get the previous uh, um, exactly. JSON and the new JSON and do a diff. And this, like, is, this is what I like pointed out, like the problem yeah. with both their approaches was that like they're not considering the fact that we need the data not only from this PR but the one prior to this. Yeah, there is a way to do it. There is a way to um, there is a way in GitHub when a GitHub action is triggered to figure out the previous thing. We we might have to we might have to dig a little bit deeper to see if there is a way to like differentiate which is the merge PR for the current PR being proposed and where is the master before that. And we might have to do some gymnastics there. But the point is like, 
yes, we can't do it in line. We'll do it on demand. Got it. Right? Okay. Again, we leave that as a discussion for future and don't pollute that with like what needs to be done in this PR. So see if you can come to an agreement with uh, Christoph and Ben on this PR itself um, on that SIG testing thread and we'll see uh, where we land up with that. Okay. Got it. Uh, again, this is like a test of like how you are dealing with other people, <laughs> not just me. Okay. Uh, and yeah. And till then, like, do you have some other features in mind, which we could add? Or... Uh, I don't have anything specific in mind. Navarun, did, can you think of something else? No, uh, I was also looking at that memory thing where you have depending to a list. I planned right. on doing some PPROF stuff, but I guess it is not very on fire issue right now since it is working for KK. So when we reach on like running it on other repos, we can probably have it. Uh, I, I think it would make sense to dig into the performance thing too. Like uh, try to figure out how to optimize uh, the performance stuff. Like one example I can think of is- Separating uh, into functions definitely helped. Because yes. uh, otherwise, uh, yeah, sorry, continue. Even after, even after separating into functions, have you run the same job yeah. again? It's still taking time. It's still but taking time. Right. For the uh, initial repositories, it's taking lesser time than it earlier took. Right. And is it because so you have to differentiate between is it because of memory consumption or or because of CPU? Right. So you this is actually a good good thing to figure out like how do you deal with Go performance? How do you figure out where uh, you know, where things take time. And this is actually a really good opportunity to like dig into um, why it's taking too much time. So uh, you can think of it in terms of algorithms, you can think of it in terms of flame graphs, uh, you, and then see if you can come up with something innovative. Uh, maybe you can use, uh, instead of uh, storing everything in hash maps, maybe you can, um, uh, 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 some way of uh, doing um, uh, what do you call that? If you need to know, like whether you've visited the same thing before, uh, instead of keeping a list of all the things, then just figure out if there is a way to keep it. If it's memory, right? Like see how memory. you can reduce the memory consumption by storing less things or collapsing things. Um, uh, so sometimes you can uh, compute like a MD5 or or something like that to keep track of uh, things. Uh, like if you have a really long string, store an MD5 instead of the long string, right? What uh, is MD5? Uh, MD5 is a uh, way of like encoding, uh, like coming up with a shorter, if you just want to compare, uh -huh, when we don't care about the value and then you don't care about the value itself you just want to know whether the same thing, thing was seen before right like so figure out uh so, so you have a month left right so um if there is no other things coming up then i would dive into go how go works how uh, you know cpu and memory affects uh, uh, the algorithms and like go deep into it Got it. Right. It, yep. It's going to be useful um, in some shape or form uh, when you're attacking like real world problems. This is a real world problem anyway, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um, Nabaran, did you have anything today? No, I was just observing. Thanks. Okay. Um, then the question is like, is there anything else you want to do, Arsh? Uh, like in related to Debstat or? In, yeah, sure, Debstat or non-Debstat. I mean, I uh, have been like I'm start I'm starting to go to release engineering meetings because mm -hmm. this time my shadow application didn't get accepted, but that's expected since I like never showed up before that. Mm -hmm. But so yeah, I'm applying for the next cycle, so I'm looking if like I can help out there. 
Okay. But other than that, if you have something I could work on, that will also be great. Like you have seen things, right? So you have to tell me what you're interested in, then I'll guide you. Um, I'm not going to assign you something if you're not going to be. Uh, I mean, not I'm, of I, I'm looking for like sort of a project like this only because like not exactly good first issues, but something which is a sort of a project. Yeah, this was a lot of work that you already did. So <laughs> it's a nice work for sure. Not sure. I guess I'll also like look at more areas and then I'll get yes. back to you. Yeah. yeah. So uh, tell me like early next week and you know we, we can get started on something else. But I would definitely want you to continue digging into um, the performance issues and see if you can come up with some innovative solutions there. Yep. Okay. Um, that's about it. Um, so talk to you all <laughs> next time. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Bye. Bye.